You gonna help me with any of that one? Yeah, I'm gonna help you with whatever you need. I just, I gotta go eat first. I know, I know, I know. So I'm sure you got all kinds of other things you're gonna do besides that. Receiving my content. Wait, wait, let me know when you're going. Ah, uh, we're on. I get some water. It's fine. It's, it's gonna be totally impromptu. They're, they'll be all right with it. We ain't trying to be nothing professional here. Um, we can't hear them, but they can hear us in the in the microphone. But we're gonna have a YouTube chat up. I will pop it out in a separate window for you. Right here, menu, pop out. There we go. We're streaming live on Tough Muffin. Come check us out. Let's see, is it working? Yup. Copy. There we go. Huh? Yeah, it's in there. I'm coming. I'm just getting the setup and I'm leaving Randy to it. All right, can you hear me? It's working. I don't think they believed that we were actually uh, tearing apart a laptop. You're going to get the whole show here. Is, is the sound volume okay, too? All right, so chat's right there. That's Simon. He's one of my mods from my other YouTube channel. My uncle's YouTube. Ooh, some, some unfathomably moist, saucy, creamy, crispy, succulent flakes of perfectly aged cheese. Yes. Yes, we love that name. Can't really That's hear you, brother. That is <laughs> that is his YouTube name. Uh, that is your name. That is, uh, I give you credit on that one. That's uh, original. I hope that's original. All right. You're not really meant to hear his voice because it's not as beautiful as mine. Oh, I can hear you. Okay. Do you want to talk to it? Put it no, I'm good. I'm, i got to focus. Not he's good. focusing, um, but I'll be back in a few minutes, and I will narrate. Right now, he's using the cotton wipes, and he's wiping off what we think is the... Um, memory chips for the... The memory chips for the... Um, the memory chips for the uh, VRAM for the graphics card. Could not get that out of my brain. Oh, they're all crooked, yeah. That's how you that's how you charge three four thousand dollars for a laptop. Uh, Beautiful. Alright, you go to yours, you can come back. 
Come back. I'm gonna eat so I can come back. Love y'all. Not gonna be the most entertaining for the next uh, few you minutes must here. Speak louder. Yeah. I will not be the most entertaining. You right there. That's why. Cool. You can say fart nuggets if you want. You don't say fart nuggets. You just did. Box of Q-tips on this bad boy. The mic out of the camera. Yeah, it's going to be quite annoying, to be fair. But, uh, well, you know, it's a lot cheaper to do this than it is to, uh, it takes time and a little bit of money to buy the liquid metal versus uh, buying a computer that's just faster from the start. I mean, they're in a whole lot faster than this anyway without completely blowing the budget. So we're going to roll with that. It wouldn't be uh, quite precarious as well if um, I wasn't trying to put the, I have the thermal pad to do over the V-memory and all that. I just don't trust this uh, thermal paste that's on here. Um, the laptop, I've had it um, maybe maybe a month and a half. So I live out in the Caymans, the Cayman Islands. Um, so I, it's hard to get the liquid metal and stuff out there. I would have done it out there. Uh, so I bought it and had someone bring it out for me. Um, yeah, I mean, it's it's, uh, it's uh, i9. Uh, what is it? i9... 8950HK, uh, and then there's the 2080 on there as well. So it's all relatively new equipment. They had a 9 series, but I got it on a decent sale, dropping down to the A series i9. So it's the new series, not much faster to start with.
Yeah, for sure. If uh, you know, something goes wrong, uh, you're going to see an angry post after this, the how I broke my $4,000 laptop post. Shit, I hope not. That's not the expected outcome. I mean, it's running everything right now pretty damn well. I mean, it's running everything close to, you know, 1,400 or uh, 144 frames on most games on, you know, like every everything set to ultra high detail. So just doing this more for shits and giggles at this point just because I can. Because why not? I'd love to say that I have a laptop that'll boost to 5 gigahertz. That'd be pretty cool. Desktop is not easy to do, but it's more common now. But laptops, not so much. Varid. Varid. Var, 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 is that how you say it? Uh, I believe that it's Brian. Oh, is that Brian? I think it's Brian. Oh, what's up, Brian? I think it's Brian. I could be wrong. Is that Brian? I think so. Yep. Hey, hey, what's going on, Brian? I haven't seen you in a while. He says he has not seen you in a while. He says you owe him $5 for the Buffalo Wild Wings from last time. <laughs> There's probably like a five second delay on purpose, so. We got five people watching. Oh, I mean, yeah. the dude. It's just not like the most comfortable electronic porn you've seen in a while. It's, just, it's nice. It's tasty. It's easy going, it's slow. Tasty. It's monotonous, but it's nice, you know? When we play it back, we're gonna we're gonna do a uh, a time lapse. We're gonna cut out me talking. It's gonna look really nice. Uh, we gotta leave you talking. Look at that. I need to get my sander and some 80 grit sandpaper and clean that up for you a little bit. You got the liquid metal on there already. Um, this is what he could get on the Cayman Islands before, that which is, uh, was what brand? Noctua NH1. I couldn't get the NH2. Noctua NH1, but he wanted the two. And then this is where we're going. The real stuff. Thermal Grizzly Conduct Knots, liquid metal, and this then is I have the Arctic Silver. Maxi Pad. The Arctic Silver Pad here, yeah. Maxi Pad. Um, also known as the Maxi Pad. This, these two were 50 bucks. And actually, as well, the stuff I'm cleaning off now was not the Noctua. That's stock. I didn't, clean, I didn't clean the VRAM because I wasn't worth it to clean it and put that on there because I knew I was going to get this eventually. So you didn't redo your VRAM? No. Wow. No, I didn't want to do it twice. It's tedious work. Garrett, uh, James K says looks nice. Uh, Verid says, think he just cleaned it off. Oops. Well, if I get like he's applying it. Laugh that. Shiny. The smoother, the smoother that gets, the better it'll be. Some guys laugh them, but I'm not doing Walker that. said shouldn't have to sand it. Might make contact with the heat pipes worse, actually. That was that was kind of 
I was trying to be facetious, but I don't sound that way ever. So, we did we ever figure out where the ram was? We I, I do not know. Because if you look at the picture that we posted, or my uncle posted rather, this is Uncle Randy, by the way. This is Uncle uh, Ryan talking on the mic somewhere that way on my screen. Um, we're not sure where the ram is because these are like ram slots that you can add. We th we thought that was the CPU, but that says NVIDIA, so we're pretty sure that's the GPU, GPU which means your CPU is somewhere else. Here, which is that, and that's a i9, correct? correct? But it's like technically not mobile, but it is. So we're not we're not we we, we can't really confirm that, but y'all can look that up if you want. It's the mobile variant because it's soldered in, so they had to give a different number. Yeah, but, but it's, it's not supposed to be the, almost the same it's chip. It's a full size. It's a. If you can see the photo, this thing is a beast. It's huge. It's thick. It's, it's like. I mean, it's it's like like your book for literature, but thicker. Pretty much, yeah, like a literature I mean, book, yeah, like the, high school literature book. The, you know, the, it's about like that. The the laptop. I waited. The laptop with the the bricks, the power bricks. There's two power bricks. The laptop with the power bricks is almost 14 and a half, 15 pounds. Yeah, and there's two power bricks. There's power not bricks. one. You can run it with one, right? You not... No, you can charge it with one, but you can't run it. You can it. operate with one, but you can't go into overclock mode, boost mode. Okay. It'll max out at... Um, it'll still die with the battery plugged up, which is one. Okay, so he says uh, CPUs below the GPU... The GPU will have the most heat pipes because of VRAM stuff. Yeah. Yeah, that makes sense. That. I mean, yeah. We, okay. We know this is the CPU. This is the GPU. Yeah, we we get it now. But before we were like confused. Wise. We thought, oh, that's the processor. But then when we cleaned it off, we saw immediately, because you know, we know what we're doing. <laughs> You're pretty confident on that. No, I'm not confident at all. But I know that we know how to turn the screwdrivers and clean up some stuff. I kind of want to clean this, but I don't. Like, hey, hand me that napkin over there. Them Dorito soaked napkin. That is uh, quesadilla. That's a video they don't know yet that my uncle's about to release. Are you going to go get some more napkins? No, nah, that's fine. Right. I just wanna, I'm, not, I'm not detailing this crap. I just want to yeah. get it all up in the policy. You, you better because of thermal conductivity and electrostatic magnetism. The thermal paste is not uh, thermally conductive. I know, it's a joke. And neither is the liquid metal. Yeah, I know. That's why you can goop on as much as you want, but... I watched it when uh, Jay's Two Cents did that overclocking with the LN2. Liquid nitrogen, for those of you that don't know what that means. I wasn't sure at first. <clears throat> but at any rate... Yeah, it was pretty awesome. They just gooped it on there. I'm like, oh my god. They're like, yeah, it really doesn't matter. Because they're freezing the block, and then they have a torch to heat it up at the same time. It's, it's amazing. It's pretty amazing. Get it cold enough to not freeze, hot enough to run. We well, need to do that. I got a computer here that I can't say where I got from, but those of you that are watching do know. And we can overclock it and see what happens. Should we do that? You want to live nice stream? It's a uh, Dell XPS, isn't it? Yes, yeah, it's, it's a Dell Optiplex. I'm not going to say the number, um, but it has a 512 megabyte ATI NVIDIA Radeon in it. Ooh. I mean, it's screaming at probably like one gigahertz. Jay's two cents is dope, says some uh, perfectly aged cheeses we're we going to refer to them I like as. Jay's two cents. I like yeah, Gamers Nexus as well. Gamers Nexus is pretty cool. I like Gamers Nexus. Only because lately he's hanging out with Kingpin. Yeah. And uh, can't forget Linus. Linus, is too Linus Tech Tips. Yeah. They don't do the they don't do the fun stuff they used to do as much anymore. That's because he's, reviews, he's got a, a you know. You got a channel, but they do some silly stuff. I watched yeah. one where they did a, um, it was kind of like a Raspberry Pi, but it was a little bit bigger. And then they hooked up a 280 RTX, like the the gold one, like the Titan, I think. And uh, they like tried to run it, and it bottlenecked the computer, and it wouldn't run right. It was pretty funny. It just shows how important the CPU is to the you graphics know, card. Huh? I mean, you're over here making computer porn, so I didn't prawn computer yeah. prawn. I'll switch it over and I'll clean it in a minute. Okay, and I'll just scratch the I'll scratch the lid when I move it. Yeah. The titanium brush lid. Yeah. I've already scratched the worry. The thing was sick. I wasn't. I didn't no, think. I, I dropped it. You did drop it. Dropped it. Randy dropped it. What were you? I mean, well, not I what were you doing, but what caused you to drop it? Uh, I was carrying it and 
Was it open? No, it hit the corner. Did it crack anything? Uh, it, it bent the plastic a little bit, but I opened it up, and I sawed it back flat, and you can't tell. You sawed it back flat. It, it, it stretched out the plastic, and it caused a lip, so I had to cut the lip off. So you literally opened up your computer and cut a chunk off? Correct. Oh, my God. Correct. <laughs> but it's flush, and you can't tell now. It's back to normal. The, the, it's, the titanium got a couple back scratches to norm, on it. Back to normal. But if, the, if these kids could only see what a normal life is in my house... I, I could make a YouTube video out of it. My uncle especially. You know Uncle, uncle Petey? Yeah. He said that he should make a YouTube channel, and I thought about doing one for him. Life at the, the, the well, Miller Ranch is what you I, I, Ironically enough, I thought about calling it my uncle and I, yeah. and then have him come on and just talk. Like, the dude will talk for hours. Like, it's ridiculous. He came by. He was projects, man. Oh, His God. His house is, is ridiculous, too. We're trying to sound like we're on the Internet. It's kind of weird. That's what I do. Um, but yeah, like my uncle's a collector. Like I'm a collector. If you can tell all that junk over there, that's what we call it, a collector. Um, it's not a junk collector. Sanford and Sons. They might know. Doubt it. Does anyone know what Sanford and Sons is in the chat? Don't cheat. Sanford and Sons, right? Is that right? Yeah, not Mumford and Sons, the band, but yeah, exactly. Sanford, Sanford and, and Sons. Sons. Let's clarify that. Uh, oh, I can do a little bit of product placement even though I don't have anything. I'm not getting paid for it. Um, what is this brand called? This is uh, Amazon Ver Ver Vertex or Vivit. Vivit. I don't know. Anyway, there you go. There's some stuff. I bought it to open up my DS, which is over there. We're gonna liquid cool the DS, by the way. Yeah, we're gonna we're, we're gonna liquid cool it. Liquid metal the DS. No, liquid cool it. We're gonna get a, a water pump and reservoir, a portable. We're gonna delit it. We're gonna delit it. Yep. I have it. It's open. Where is it? Here it is. So it's something really cool I saw, and it's um. You know, on a side note, we we discussed doing this with his regular desktop first to get practice at it. Yeah, let's de de lid the i seven. We we said we were just gonna liquid liquid metal it. We probably should have instead of de lidding. Just get some practice. But we wouldn't have been able to stream. And you see how many wires I have? Literally every. I was like, I'm not gonna need this many USB ports on the back. And guess what? I ran out, and now I'm using the ones on the top for crap. This, by the way, is not the official use of this tool. When you say conductive, you aren't talking about the liquid metal, right? Because that is conductive, says Walker. Should not be conductive. I, I didn't think that that kind was actually conductive. No, if I remember correctly. There is some brands that aren't. I think I the think. Not is not... You can you can it's look it thermally up. Thermally conductive. Thermally conductive, but not electrically yes, conductive. Yes, I can't use it with aluminum, but I have copper, which is. We fine. have copper. Yeah, if you want to send us some documentation on that, just so you can cook his four thousand no, dollar no, laptop. No, either way, we're okay because everything is uh surrounded by a heat shrink plastic coating on the dies. I don't know if you can see that. Yeah. So the dies are plastic coated. You don't want it to get over there though. Ow! I'm kidding. Where the resistors are. You're not hooked up to the table here. It was a it was a joke. I'm not hooked up either, but. What? Oh, I have flip flops on. It makes it okay. Yeah, I, oh, look at that. It's got like a little micro tip. That's really cool. Maybe not conducto knot. I don't think conducto knot is not. Is that a concern? Is that something? I don't know what that word is. Walker's. Conducto knot's the brand. Like oh, the okay. The thermal grizzly's a brand. Conducto knot's the liquid. The liquid. Okay, yeah. Some of them are then. Yeah, Correct. Thermal knot, conducto knot. Yeah, let's see. It doesn't say. It's old German. I can't read that. I mean, even though I'm half German. Uh, base liquid metal must be used with coolers made. Must not be used with aluminum. Contact with aluminum result in a permanent damage. They did that, by the way, on uh, Linus Tech Tips to show you. Really? Yep. Is it bad? Over time, yes. Oh. Immediately, no. But over time, it'll come. Um, Uncle Willard straight chilling with flip flops. Yep. <clears throat> I got them. Uh, Randy made fun of them, but because he's you know he's OG and wears the cool ones. But I got the I got the Quicksilver ones that are like sixty bucks. They're super overpriced, but I love them. They're kind of like Crocs. Like, I can share this. Uh, you, you know when you watch uh, Deadpool for the first time and you see him put it, the feet into the Crocs and it's just like, ah, right? Um, 
I tried yours on, Randy's on, for the first time when I stayed with him for, like, what, three weeks, four weeks? It was a month. Yeah, it was amazing. And uh, I put him on, and I had that exact moment. It was super amazing. This, by the way, is rubbing alcohol. This is rubbing alcohol, he says, in case you can't hear him. Isopropylol, okay. Not the kind that you can drink, right? That's ethyl alcohol, also known as ethanol, which goes in your gas. But you can't drink gas. It's bad for you. Uh, fun fact, when they make the ethanol from corn, which is basically moonshine, they dump a gallon of gasoline in it to poison it so that they don't get taxed for transporting alcohol in between different states. Did you know that? Yep. They actually dump gasoline in it a certain amount so that it's no longer considered consumable, and then they can transport it without the ATF. Fun fact. Get the E85 tune for your car. Do they make a T85 tune for my yeah, car? They make an E85 tune. Oh. Does APR make an E85? I think they do. So if they do, then I think they do 100 I. 100 octane, and then you can also, I think, sell about almost the. I thing. don't remember it being optional on the current tune I have, but if I got the downpipe, think about the gas savings and power increase I would have with E85. You would lose fuel economy because your foot's going to get heavier. No. It's, it's like $2 for it if you can find it. Versus almost saying, four bucks a gallon. If your car is faster, you're going to drive it faster. Well, of course. Why wouldn't you? It's like Top Gear when they drove the, uh, the smart car around their racetrack. Um, so Brian says that's whack. And then he says, dude, dude, um, where are your RAM sticks? That's what we don't know. The, the well, RAM is on the board somewhere. It's somewhere. But when I opened it up, I can show you everything we have here. I mean, I have the. There's the M.2 storage. You got to go slow for the viewers. Sorry, M.2 storage. M.2 storage. I have a regular Crucial. Crucial SSD, SSD. right? Not a hard drive. Okay. And then I thought that might be it. I right think there. that's the Wi-Fi. But that's the Wi-Fi. Those are the antennas. That's what those are for sure. Because the, 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 the Nintendo Switch actually has them too, and they look just like that. Yep. Uh, so we're not really sure. But we could add more to get more RAM, right? 30, 32 gigs probably. I have 16 on board. 16 on board, but we don't know where it's at physically. Maybe this. It could be that, but that's kind of a weird sort spot for it. So we don't we don't know. So so you're gonna do thermal pads along the top, not paste. Thermal? No, 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 no. It had uh, paste though. They they do, but for. The thermal pads have almost similar conductivity as the paste, and it's a lot easier to work with. And if I want to reopen it, it's a hell of a lot easier. I don't have to worry about re repasting it if I open it. Yeah, so Walker is saying that the con Conduct Tulin, or whatever that brand is, is still the Gallenstein alloy, however that is spelled. It's electrically conductive. The cryo -naw is not because it isn't liquid metal. So this is conductive then, I think, maybe? I don't know. We're going to be careful with it either way. I don't think it is on Linus Tech if they spilled it all over the board when they were doing it and they cleaned it up. Yeah, maybe. They didn't have any issues. But I don't think maybe, you... I, don't uh, I think it's pretty rare anyways. Really what you don't want is we have a card where you put a chip in and that crap to come in and under it. You're not going to have that issue, I hope. Well, no, you shouldn't. You spread it out beforehand. Wow. Well, it's interesting for sure. So at any rate, Randy, Randy or Uncle Randy here is cleaning his... Uh, his stuff off, and I'm just hanging out. I do have Minecraft stuff to do, but hey, this is fun too, right? The RAM is probably soldered on the board, maybe on the other side. Yeah, that's probably where it is. That's interesting, though, because most laptops, you know, they have a certain amount, and then you can rip it out. So in your case, you're just going to upgrade. You don't have to lose RAM or buy more. You can just... Well, there, it may even be mounted on the back side. I don't it know. It probably is. I hope it is because if you want to upgrade it, you're going to have two types of RAM, which you have different RAM speeds and different casting. Oh, that's, that's something have issues. to consider. But I do love how it does have one, two, three. It's got three M.2s. They're the short ones, though. No, I mean, no, no. Right? They're, 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 no, no, they run full length. Those oh, they run this way. Yeah. Oh, okay, cool. Yeah. Too cool. So one, two, three. One, two, three, plus I still have the uh, regular one. The second regular one. one. Okay, so where was the original one at? Here. Right there? Here. Okay. So the screw's on this other side somewhere. I can't Here. see. Sweet. 
There's all kinds of adapters for extra stuff. I don't know what's for. Might just be on that RAM slot. Yeah, it could be. It could be like right here somewhere. We don't know. Okay, so that's clean. You happy with it? You uh, you missed the spot, right there. Yeah, I know. <laughs> because it's just the VRAM, I'm not concerned if it's a little bit on the outside of it. No, I wouldn't worry about it neither. It's so it's not gonna get hot enough to affect the performance. No, no. Thermal pads are perfectly acceptable. Ask EVGA; they'll tell you. It was a little joke. I was supposed to send mine in because the, the, apparently they made a mistake and they needed to add a new pad to it because the boards were warping, but I didn't send mine in because I had a gold card and I didn't want them to swap it out on me. It's supposed to run at, I think, 1600 and, and it's almost running at 1750. Probably when they're testing their cards, the NVIDIA is testing their cards for the, um, what do they call them? The, like when you buy the stock cards made by NVIDIA versus... Oh, you're talking about Founders Editions. The founders Editions, they're, they're versus testing Versus the both. custom boards. They're, they're testing them. They're keeping the good ones and sending out the other ones. So when other companies are re-releasing these cards with higher clock speeds, you know, they're trying to overclock them to have their own editions. Um, it's harder for them to do that now. Um, and they're able to get them up to these higher speeds, but they're having to push the limits, whereas the Founders Editions are becoming... Yeah, it's uh, like, hey... Because they're, they're testing their cards, and they're keeping the good ones for themselves. So you gosh, buy it yeah. at a higher stock speed... And they're overclocking it more, so it's incentive to buy their card and board now. Yeah, they want you to buy theirs. Well, they still make money either way, but they make That's a funny. little bit more. I'm sure they do. I just couldn't imagine developing a graphics card. Like, it just blows my mind. Imagine this motherboard. I imagine know. soldering this. Look at the little stuff on here. They got a solder. Well, you know, they got a little computer that's called... And then they heat solder it with a heat gun. They probably don't actually come in with a prod. Are we good? This is not this is not thermal conduct conductive stuff right there down in that uh, cracks. It's not. You got a little thing you can you can touch it. No. <laughs> it Let's is, just connect the two capacitors it next is to it. It's not on top of the memory. It's on top of other little fuses and stuff where I'm not little transistors which do not have an issue with heating up. It was already there in the first place. I'm just leaving it. All right. And so it. so we're we're pretty happy with that. I'm calling that. We're calling it done. Now let's move the isopropylol for all you technical savvy people out there. And let's grab this beast and um if you You got a mouse pad we can set it on or something. My phone's naked by the way. Yeah, give me that. Put that there. Okay, insert. And then I'm gonna move my mouse pad for you. That the beast, the beast is going down. Oh, 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 oh. I got this. I got it. got it. Yeah, if it breaks, I'll just send you a bill. <gasps> Don't even. Don't even joke. Not the day, Bobo. All right. So we got that. You got scissors? Do I have scissors? Or a board and a razor blade. I can use either one. I don't have a razor blade, I think. I'll get scissors you some scissors. Hold on. You going to start cleaning that now or not? Yeah. Come on, man. We'll wait. You're going to use my opener tool to clean it? That's fine, I'm kidding. It's what's made for. It's just used for crap. Ha! Oh, yeah. Ah, uh, get in there. Yep. Hey, bring back some more napkins when you come. Yeah. Make it sound okay? Yeah. Coming back a little bit heavier, if you know what I mean. Yeah. Are you good? For now, yeah, I'm fine. Yeah. Take a breather. Getting nervous. Uh, I should have bought.
about the additional insurance. How much was the additional insurance for a four thousand dollar laptop? Four hundred dollars. Four hundred bucks. So one percent or no ten percent. Okay, so I brought him the crappiest pair of scissors I have. And the napkin. Yeah, they're in the kitchen. I'll go get them. Thank you. You got any Doritos? I got munchies. Nah, too messy. I got beaver nuggets. I might have some beaver nuggets. Let me see. I got baked. How about lady baked something? Just bring me a napkin first. We'll go from there. You're slowing down the progress here, you know? These lovely four watchers want to see progress. I don't know if they can hear you, but... Talk like you're an old man. There's no hands. Yeah, yell anyway. All right, we got uh, gamer food. Um, we got Lay's baked. We got barbecue. Or is that? Oh, we went with the, the, the most disgusting choice there was, in my opinion. It's fine. I'm gonna get uh, munchies and help. My bad. He's getting mad because he's cleaning and I bumped him naked. Ooh. I gotta make this a little bit of. I know. It's awesome. This, look, look how crappy this thermal paste is. I'm not the one that applied it. Well, I said you was. I said, look, damn it. Oh, is it grainy? No, watch how goopy it is. Look how. Like gluey it is. Well, look, 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 look. I mean, he they. I can hear it. Like, as he's scraping, I mean, obviously I know this is rough. Grainy is okay. But you can hear like. <laughs> Here, let me see. I'm going to play with it in front of the camera. Is that cool? Just get okay, it. Look at that. Clean. That's considered paste. It's probably blurry. Like, it kind of looks like curds, if you know what that is. Like cottage cheese. That'd be a fair description, yeah? You can see the knock too, huh? That's what that's what you put on well, here and there, no, in there, in there, yeah. but not anywhere else. No. Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and say that. Well, so your CPU was getting hot, right? It was getting warm, but I, it was it was pushed. I mean, it really was pushing into the limits. So it was boosting to 4.8, and it was it. stable at 4.2 gigahertz. So I would like to get it to boost to five with a maximum 28 second boost. Um, and then if I can get it to 4.5 stable, let me get that napkin. Hand me another one. I'll be happy. So we want 4.5 stable, 5 at boost. 5 at boost. And then if I can get the, the video uh, card, it's not, the video card is not heating up uh, nearly as hot as it should be or could be. Um, but without sending a lot of power to it right now, I think it's kind of limited. Um, so... I want to be able to get this liquid metal on there. It's sitting around 65 to 70 degrees Celsius, and where I at? It's and where I'm at is really hot. That's high. You told me it got up no, to but like I mean, yeah, I remember my one point, right? My house is like 83, 84 degrees. Yeah, it's a hot place, so I'm not in an air conditioning place. He's on a he's on a spot on the map that's like smaller than my pinky. So I think with the liquid metal, I can get that down in a, a reasonable air conditioned environment. I can get that down to hopefully. 60 to 55 to 60 degrees Celsius, and that means I can send a little more power to it and try and get a little more out of it. Um, folks, this just in. I'm looking at his board, and I, I think he got robbed. It literally says Xbox on the motherboard. Like, I mean, I, I don't want to move it, but you see that, right? X dash B O X. Does that not say that? I can't see it from here. It's right there, brother. Look. Oh, yeah. Xbox. I think this is just an Xbox One. I think we can get an Xbox One and compare it and see what it's like yeah. to have ray tracing on an Xbox One. That's it. And we can set the, the graphics to the same settings and see if we still run 30 frames a second. Yeah, if. Or, or, maybe, just maybe, I can play Rainbow Six at 144 because right now it's only playing like 90. Man, Rainbow Six is a different subject. With, with the ultra detail pack. Yeah, the, I, which I deleted because I'm not running um, 4K or 4, 4, 1440p. Um, Brian's laughing at you because you bought an Xbox One and paid 10 times the price. Yeah. It's okay. And the best Does part it come is. With the controller dongle included. <laughs> no, 
you know, for that price, <laughs> it is not. And it is running, um, it's still running at, uh, it's still running at 1080p, but it's running 144 hertz, and it's, it's a really good 144 hertz screen as well. So the, the, the colors the, are correct. It's, it's, the uh, what is correct. it? Cause, uh, Walker will definitely enjoy the details. It's I, and, LPA. Is that right? Is that the right words? I can't remember. And IPA. I did a lot of on it. And the nice thing was, it's is color correct before you get it. It's color correct before you get it. But the big thing as well was, is not, they didn't build a, a panel that was set to a lower refresh rate and overclock it to 144 hertz, which a lot of them do. It's native. They started with a native 144 hertz screen. So a lot of the issues get you get when you're starting to overclock a panel to get these higher frame rates, it doesn't have. And it has all a million local dimming zones and all that fancy stuff too, yeah. don't get me wrong, but a lot of the shading issues you have, the color variances like before and after fast-moving images and all that, it doesn't have. So to answer your question, 1080p, 144 hertz, I've looked at the monitor. I have the um, Asus 24-8 VGQEs, I think is what they are, which is like a budget gaming monitor. It's really good. His looks way better. It's bananas. I got to play with it before he did because you had to ship it to my house. Box is, I haven't even taken the box. The box is, box is still, still up still there up on there. top of the arcade cabinet. Um, but the reason you did that was because if you shipped it to your house, it would go through customs... They would receive it and hold it and then ask you how much you paid for it and then charge you how much of a tax? 38%. 38%. So that would have added another on top of $1,000 on top of Well, whatever. like I said, I got it on a decent sale. It would have been 38% of what they deem the value at. They determine the oh, value. Oh, they do? They determine the value of the items. Not what you bought them at. So like, say you buy, like people buy a new car and they bring in a new car and they got to pay duties on it. And they go, oh, I got on a good sale. You know, I got the car for $28,000. They go, yeah, but the car, the MSRP is $33,000 on it. So you're going to pay taxes on $33,000 plus shipping and everything else they factor in as well. They take you to the cleaners on that crap. It's unbelievable. And when you get a car shipped there, you have to pay for its disposal beforehand, right? Yeah, the fees, minus the duties, the fees, the taxes and fees you pay for a car is about $1,500, not including the shipping. And the best part is you have to pay the duties on the shipping, on the fees they charge and everything. They charge you duties. After everything is said and done, the last thing they do is charge you duties on whatever you paid. Yeah, it's unbelievable. So, so say you had to have an oil change or you had to get a new battery before it could leave the port, they charge you for that new battery. And that they oil. charge you for it. That's yeah. funny. Like you did it there. Yep. Um, okay, so Walker says it is IPS in plane switching, and he gets 90 FPS on his RX 580 and Ryzen 5 3600 and Siege. Um, but he doesn't have scaling turned all the way up. Oh, I get, I get, right now I'm getting about 90, 98 with like 16 AA. And I mean, like literally everything set as high as you can physically get it. What about scaling? Uh, scaling, I turned to uh, 2.5. 2, oh, 2.5? <laughs> yeah. That's bananas. Yeah. I mean, this Siege does not like my PC. If, if I turn it down, I get higher refresh rates, but it's the, the, the corners and the edges are so much smoother. When you're you're rendering at 2.5, the native resolution. So I mean, it just looks incredible. He's like, yeah, that's what kills your frames. Yeah, yeah, but so if so, I can get up to 100 frames, I'd be happy. Yeah, that. I bet it'd be overkill. so cool. I, my eyes still can't tell the difference. No, I mean, like obviously, like I I just run 1080p, and so I don't really need a, a graphics card update right now. So I can I can run everything in Ultra except for in freaking Rainbow Six Siege, which will make my computer hard crash for some dumb reason. You can get the you can get the 2070 Super, which is basically a 2080. You want to buy it for me? You sell yours, and then it's like a two hundred dollar upgrade. Yeah, but then I gotta be without a computer for a little while, and I can't do that. Well, you got a month of me being home. What am I gonna play at mom and dad's house? Oh, I do have a four thousand dollar laptop you sitting do? in my house. Yeah, boy. Until I need it. Somebody want to give me uh, 200 bucks really quick? <laughs> In chat, anybody? Yeah, just let me know. I'll send you my uh, PayPal. <laughs> I don't know. We were max wash was six. Four washing now. Most of the people that will be watching this are playing Minecraft with Uncle Willard, who's AFK right now. In the, in the chaos <laughs> server. <laughs> See what I can do here without scratching this thing. 
Um, let's see what else. Have you played any RTX stuff? I actually when I got it, I installed Quake Two with RTX. Did you try that? I did. Look cool. Very cool. I didn't get a chance to play it, unfortunately. Yeah. So I'm kind of sad. Um, I haven't done a whole lot of the RTX just yet. Um, the titles that are out, there's really three main titles that are out, and I haven't mm. bought. Tomb Raider is one of them, right? Tomb Raider. Uh, was it? Uh, the oh, Dex Metro Ex Exodus. Metro X, yeah. Yeah. I'm looking at Metro Exodus, but I haven't played any of the other series. I guess it's the third one in the series. I haven't played anything else, so I don't know if I want to hop straight in, you know, and not know what's going on. Versus getting caught up on some of the other games. What's crazy is you bought this laptop, what, how many months ago now? About a month. A month? It's been a month. Oh, it's been that short? Man. Mom and Dad came about a month ago. I don't remember. It seemed like you had it longer. <laughs> no. <laughs> it was my no vacation gift to myself. <laughs> yeah, I'm not going to go fly five places. I'll buy a laptop instead. Hmm? <laughs> Quite lit literally. Are you good? you need anything? You got legs baked, but there's really no reason to eat them because we're working. Jesus Christ, what was that? Maybe that Pontiac Solstice is just down there. I don't think it's that fast sounding. That sounded pretty quick. Some some a car just zipped by. I never hear cars in my room. Yeah. I'm pretty sure it's a track car. It looks like one, like with the number. It's a silver one, yeah. No, and that you can just see it's just beat up. They scrapped everything out. They took everything out they didn't need minus the driver's seat. Yeah. Well, we're talking about fast computers right now. Is this raised right here? Is that what that is? It is, yeah. Okay. It is. See how rough it is? I, I would, know. I really would, if I had a, a donor CPU, I would lap the shit out of that. Well, what's funny, though, is this right here is really polished, and then this is, like, scratchy looking. I wonder if they're like, hey, more thermal conductivity surface. Was it was a joke. It was a joke. Yeah. Uh, I know there's four of you watching what computer specs do you have. Walker has, Walker Burns on YouTube stream has stated his. Does anyone else have a nice beast? I have a i7-67K. Does that sound right? Yeah. Which is like the best Skylake one they made, if I recall. Yeah, that's before Coffee Lake. Anyway. Before Coffee Lake and Cabby Lake was before that. It was Skylake... Cabby Lake and Coffee Lake. So I have an i7 67K, which I absolutely love it. And then I have a GTX 1070 EVGA FTW, which I do not regret buying. I could have got the 1080, but the price was double. You lucked out in the card. And I, my card is so powerful. It's unbelievable. Um, and it, it just, it's, it's, it's immaculate. Okay, Walker says 67K. That's right. Okay, that's what I have. I love it, and you know, I know some people. We talked, Walker and I talked about Ryzen builds before, yeah. and when, when I when I bought mine, they I don't think they were really comparable because Ryzen is making a solid dude. They market. they really are. Like especially a, if I was building one now, I would actually probably buy one. Especially for multi core, if you're doing what you're doing, which is like three. I have I have literally have four monitors connected. I have a um what you call it, yeah. a, a Oculus Rift, which you should try later. Hey, I, even then, you know, I know about the i9. I mean, realistically, I could have bought one of the new uh, 9700s that AM, that uh, Dell has in their Alienwares. And those, theoretically, would probably perform better on games. I mean, the, the i9 is great, don't get me wrong, but those are just blistering fast. Yeah. And it doesn't have as many cores, and you're not using a lot, all these cores necessarily when you're playing a game as well. You'll okay. see different core temps. You wanna, I got it new. The core temps varied per core, especially on the six cores. So... It favors it favors core two, three, four, and five, and and one and six are not so heavily favored. That's weird. So Brian says he has an RTX two seventy, i seven eighty seven K, which would be the Coffee Lake, I think. No, eighty seven. Uh, I'm not sure. I don't know. Not that it matters. Uh, the Ryzen cores are epic for streaming and gaming at the same time. Yeah, they definitely yeah. are. Like I, I had an AMD build back in the day in two thousand and. Four. I, did too. I had the Phenom Four. Uh, I had an I had the Athlon. That's right before the Phenoms came right out. The, yeah, the Phenoms came out. And uh, it was uh, I had Windows XP on it, man. I paid for my own copy. And then I had a um, I had a what did I have? I had a uh, AMD. I don't remember the number, but it was a a Radeon something like a nine fifty or something or seven something. I think you had a seven seven eighty maybe. Something like that. It was like 
512 megs, which is oddly enough what's in this computer. The boxes, man. They had so like cool. cool rendered, like, yeah. Comic strips I remember the box I had. It had, uh, what's the guy's name from uh, Half-Life? Sam? Yeah. Sam. It had Sam on it, and it came with a copy. I'm skeptical going back to AMD after my other core burnt up. Oh, jeez. Did you, well, did you what, put... What were you doing to it? Yeah, what were you doing, and did you assemble it yourself? Question mark? As a fun question, not criticizing you. Yeah. But yeah. It happens. I mean, so, I can burn the crap out of this tomorrow. Yeah, I know, but I will I will attest to that. So what I was going to go say is my AMD always... Yeah, I pray to everything you can. Yeah. My AMD always ran hot. I mean, if you want a warm room and you have a cold place, you get an AMD. <laughs> Honestly. Their power consumption is still high. Yeah, honestly. They're super high. They're hot. Um, so personally for me, when I built my new system, I looked at the Ryzen's and I'm like, you know what? I was never, I never felt cool and safe with my computer. Like I put the whole, like Randy remembers, like we had the old CD slots, you know? You had the clear case. I had a clear I do, case. I do love a that. A neon acrylic, clear, a clear, a clear, clear acrylic case. Blue and well. and in blue Same fans color. and it, I never got the black light though which I regret I never got to really see the cathode light to light the thing up but it was supposed to glow the whole thing but it had like this slot in there that you can like put in with this one of the CD drives went and it had a dial and it had these little probes that you could put in places to tell you the temperature of your CPU and GPU and I kind of just jammed them under there that is a long forgotten theory. I know um, and it would always run super hot, and it would crash a lot. And I mean, it could have been I didn't know what I was doing, but you know, I was super paranoid then. So I think what it was is back then. I remember when I got my CPU, you were helping me put it together. And back then, thermal paste was a big question on how do you apply it. Yeah. Do you remember how you had me apply it? And you did the same to yours. Oh, I, I he, don't. You put do? four layers of blue tape around the square, oh, and you use a credit card. To, to swipe, swipe it, it. And so you get this nice, nice thin thick, layer. That's right. Nice, nice thick layer. Thick layer. That's what <laughs> I said. By today's standards, we know that was really thick. Uh, yeah, but but that was what you did. And you made a mess. And you made a I made a mess, <laughs> and we had to clean it up and do it again. But we got it, and it, it worked. All right. Um, this is done. Hand me back. I'm ready for the. Uh, we're gonna do the thermal pads first. Hold on, Brian. Go. Brian's talking to us. Uh, he said it burned up in the summer. I like the heat, so don't run it, so I don't run AC. I think it's surrounding, surroundings where it's downfall. No. And then Walker just finished his build a few weeks ago. What, what, what did Walker build? Uh, he said it in the comments. Hold I on. We'll I know. I read it out loud. Do, do me a favor. Right there. I, I would love to hear what Walker built, but can you hand me this so I can get started? 580 Ryzen. So we can keep the, uh, the content for these lovely four people going. Is this a part of your computer? Yeah. Put that in the screen so they can see. I don't know what that uh, is. It's like a little plastic washer that comes from the back. I may have broke it when I dropped it. I'm just going to be honest. Oh, I see the shape right there. Look at it. Yeah, but over you, see that piece star. Of you can't see that. It's too far. I don't want to drop it. This thing is heavy, my dudes. Like, think like when you carry your book bag with all your bucks in it. Like, add a little bit. Uh, Walker, are you happy with your build? Would you change so anything? Built, read it out to okay, so he built a uh, RX 580, which is his graphics card, correct? And then he's got a Ryzen 5 3600. AMD on AMD. AMD on AMD. Or ATI on AMD, right? Technically, because ATI used to make Radeons. Not anymore. Okay. Back in the day when I was AMD an old man. Makes Video cards and processors. But it was as... ATI used to make graphics cards. So mine was an ATI Radeon. Is that rain or is that the fan? That's the fan. Okay. So I don't I don't regret mine at all. I love it. Now he's squishing the pad because he's nervous. I gave him the crappiest scissors I had so that he could put that in his his uh his, his computer. Now he's pretending like he knows what he's doing by acting like he knows what he's doing. Oh, Brian, if you're listening, I know you lost a bunch of stuff that you mined in the game legitimately. Uh, hit me up later and I'll um, give you back what you had. And then if you want, you can have Simon or um, Alt 
if he knows what he's doing. Block you off an area so nobody can steal your stuff for now. Looks a little wide. It's for the upper and the lower. <laughs> Whoever said that. Middle finger. You? For the upper and the lower. Did I say that? Sounds like something I would say. I say things all the time, and people are like, you said that, and I don't remember. Is that bad? For now, no. When you get to be about 60 or 70, probably. But, I mean, if someone's like, hey, dude, you know, we know you said this, I can literally honestly tell them that I didn't because I don't remember. Oh, okay, so Walker said, oh, we go, oh, we go. Oh, Walker's busting us out with it. He says, uh, I also have DDR4, 3200, ROG Strix Gaming, B450 Motherboard, and Fantex P350X Case. I like my build, but it wouldn't have built my last computer. Last summer would have gotten a better GPU. I don't know. I think that's a pretty solid GPU anyways. Um... Oh, okay, so you're doing a little step down, I see. Um, yeah, I, I, I wouldn't change anything because I got what I could afford. I had a pretty big budget, though. I had some money put aside to build what I wanted. I would have loved to have spent more money, but, you know, now, like, the power I need now, I can get, but I don't really need it. 1080p, you don't need a whole lot of power. Like, if you're going 1440 or more, then you definitely need better card, I think. I'm still working on getting an SSD and replacing a ten dollar monitor I bought from Salvation Army. Is it is it at least uh Yeah, get the monitor for get the SSD for sure. Yeah, I'd probably get the monitor too. You should get the I mean, I think there's still like two hundred and sixty bucks the one that I have. Check um Um but you probably don't want uh, a ten eighty P monitor. I bet he wants fourteen forty. Because he's he's like that. He geeks out about stuff like we do. Yeah, I mean if 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 what? it makes sense, but like for me, if you're gonna do a lot of, you do online gaming or are you doing like leisure gaming? Are you playing solo? Yeah, he's everything, I think. You know, if, if you're gonna play online, actually, Linus Tech Tips has a really interesting video out recently. They work with the guys who do the uh, high speed cameras, and they tested the human reaction times between a 60 hertz monitor and a 144 hertz monitor, and the reaction times were quite impressive. So what do you mean by that, like reaction times? They were literally, they were playing CSGO, for example, right, which is a frame rate heavy game, and they were checking people's reaction times and accuracy in a way that was systematically, you know, it was fairly scientific. I'd say it would be a fairly positive answer, and, you know, f the frame rate difference drastically improved the gamer performance as far as accuracy and uh, ability to pick up on target Time it took to pick up on target. Time it took to pick up to guess the first shot. Like, you, you watch the video. It's an interesting video done by Linus Tech Tips. And so they tested. Okay, so let me. I'm going to talk for a minute. So they. You can answer the question. Yeah. No, I'm going to talk. You know what I mean. I think. Um, so they tested the frame rate versus reaction time, and they proved that a better frame rate would increase my ability to react. And your accuracy. And my accuracy. Oh, because you're you're pointing. You 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 have you see your reticle when it's moving frame to frame. It's no longer making big jumps. It's, it's more smooth, smaller. smaller. Yeah, it's making smaller jumps. And you you may not realize it, but you can perceive you can perceive that. So yeah, Walker's got a pretty cool point here because he does video editing too. Um, he says, uh, I don't know, I really like that. Uh, Fourteen four, 144 hertz. If I got a 1440p, I would just turn down the resolution or details for gaming, but it would be useful for video or photo editing. So, but is it, isn't, is that, is that um, more intensive? Is video editing more intensive on your graphics card or your uh, CPU? Depending what he's doing, if it's rendering, it's probably going to be his CPU. Well, maybe, maybe he means like he wants. Post processing and editing is usually CPU. <laughs> Brian says, nah, bro, just pick up a pair of gunners for 60 to increase gamer performance. <laughs> I remember when they had those in Circuit City. What was it? Gunners. They're like the glasses that are yellow, basically like the ones that so, real shooters use. Marina wears those. My girlfriend wears these the blue light glasses that help, uh, supposed to help with the blue light that comes through not to give you a headache. 
And uh, I'm not going to lie, if you're staring at a screen for a long time, I didn't have nearly as much as a headache wearing those glasses. It's not going to make you play any better, but it did help uh, not have a headache after staring at a screen for six hours. She wears them because she studies 10 hours a day for vet school, but still. Yeah, that's true. Sorry if uh, I'm not as talkative as Ryan here. I'm trying to stay focused. I want to do this right the first time. Be done with it. My concern now is making sure I cover everything. I'm not sure. I'm trying to make sure I cover all this crap that was covered. Ryan, you got stuck away with a baby. All right, so I don't know if you saw Walker says, uh, video editing is more CPU intensive, but I can see more detail on the images with higher res. That, ma that makes sense. It's kind of like maybe, I mean, you're going to do dual monitors, I'm assuming, because you'll have two at that point. Um, is he screenshotting or filming? No, he's going to do photo editing and then video editing, like an actual editor. Yeah, okay. So yeah, that makes sense. I would, I would definitely get a better monitor as far as the resolution. But if the color's off, you know, that's another thing, too. But Walker will know all that. He'll know everything. Color, yeah, it was like color correct monitors can get pretty pricey. Yeah, he'll find a really good uh, balance between that because he's, he's like me. Like, I am, there are some things I don't care what they are or what they're, they're by. Like those tools right there that you can't see, those I didn't care. Like, I have some high quality ones too, but they were for a specific purpose. Uh, but like my TVs, I'm a TV snob. That's true. I, I mean, Randy will tell you, I am a TV snob. If it's not the right color, the right uh, number of colors, the sharpness isn't right, the resolution, the size, the reviews, I mean, everything. It takes me about three months to find a TV. And then when I do, I go in, and then they'll be like, oh, you know, we don't think you should buy this one. And I'm like, crap, why? And they tell me, well, because so many have been returned. And so I go back, and I do it again, you know. So, But now I got the one that I have, which I love, other than the fact that my cat's